I am Pawan Parikh and I did, did my B.Tech from LNMIT Jaipur. I, am, I passed down in 2011 and I got placed in TCS. I wrote 2012 gate examination and I got an All India rank of 8. After that I joined IIT Bombay in specialization of microelectronics and VLSI design. And currently I am placed in Cisco. So actually my B.Tech specialization was computer and communication. But during my fourth year, I did a project on VLSI and that was the first time I got interest in something. So I decided to pursue a career in VLSI and there were not much opportunities for my college in VLSI. To, so I decided to uh, get an M.Tech degree from IIT and that's why I decided to write gate examination in ethnotics. I planned my preparation according to the gate forum target test series. It starts in mid of October, so I try to finish almost all my syllabus before that. And then I used to write a test every 15 days. In between those tests, I used to, you know, just revise the syllabus. And the rank which I got in those tests gave me the confidence that I'll be getting a good rank in the gate examination. So that was the whole preparation. Basically, gate is an exam of the concept rather than the memory power. So one should follow the standard books. For example, I can take the name of some books in Analog Electronics, Sedra and Smith, in Signal and System, Open Him, these kinds of, you know, foreign author books. And if you want to Indian author, then also you should follow the uh, IIT professor book. And other than that, once you finish a course, you should, you know, solve the previous year paper and try to judge yourself where do you stand. And that is more or less will suffice for the gate examination. So basically, if you want to do a master's in VLSI and microelectronics, the two best options in India are ISC Bangalore and IIT Bombay. Between those two colleges, when I had to choose one college, I chose IIT Bombay because of the, apart from the studies, which is obviously best in India, other than that you get the extracurricular activities, the life at IIT Bombay is far more better than any other IIT, and the placements also are, you know, pretty good as compared to the other IIT. So that was the reasons for me to choose IIT. So basically there are two ways, two, two paths in which you can go after the gate examination. Some student might want to join a PSU, so they can directly join the PSU. And if you want to go to higher studies, you can join IIT. After the masters in IIT, one can join PhD abroad. And if you do masters from any IIT, the chances of you getting a scholarship abroad increases so much. And if you want to go into a corporate sector, then the, in my case, in VL, VLSI specialization, the companies like Cisco, NVIDIA, Intel, uh, analog devices, so many companies which comes in core sector, so you can, you know, grab a good job in the field in which you are interested in. So that th those are basically the two prospects in which one can go after the gate examination. So if you have less than one month for gate ex examination, what I would suggest is you should not you should not try to prepare any new course. What you you can do is you know you can revise, you can you know brush up your concepts and try to solve some time bounded tests, and that will suffice in a month. Uh, the importance of CGPA, I think it does play a role in placements. Though some will say it is not important, but what I have felt here during the placement session is that CGPA does play a role in your placement, and you should try to keep it above nine then it is okay, you'll get a good company.